for this. It'll be interesting to see how he does on the One. Sunday. But Round moving on to the match now anyway, it looks like we're going to start with Kravik uh, getting the LG straight away and then picking up the Mega to see in search for his opponent. Yeah. Looks like he's going to favor going for rocket launchers instead of the rail. He has to be careful though, because he's going to take a rail to the face here. This is sort of a precarious situation to be in. Now he's going to have to teleport to the other side because he doesn't want to take a, a rail. It's a little bit scary. Oh, wow. Good read from the Knicks from going down low. Perfect read from Proximo. Knew exactly where his opponent was headed. Going to cut him off. Landed the damage and was just in there hunting like a wolf. Do you know what? I think after Proximo being a big name last week, I think he feels a lot more comfortable in his ability to actually play this game now. And you can see through his playing at the moment. He's trying to stop getting the armor, but it looks like it will be up in the next second, but he does get it. And it seems like uh, Kawik just seems to let him have it uncontested and, yeah. and get away, which now, is understandable though. He doesn't have his invis up, and this means Proximo can do what he likes because he has his invis up. He can choose the fights now. He can choose where he wants to do the damage and inflict so much pain into his opponent. Now, a scale barrier on this map will be quite interesting. I'd like to see exactly how he's going to work with Nyx as well because it's not a favorable matchup, but it looks like it could be over quite quickly considering oh, he's going to flank him and Bam. now just bait him into the fight. And it looks like he will possibly take him out, but no, just barely. It also gets the armor as well to compensate for the situation. So now we're looking at a uh, quite a stacked skill bearer right now. That first opening rocket was the problem there. Nyx doing 12 damage on the first rocket when he had all the time in the world. Again, players overreact sometimes in these close range situations where they should be able to take the time out of the invis and just whack a, a direct rocket into, into the feet. But Carwick lucky that he didn't doesn't lose the round just quite yet but you know he's still got two more champions to go through and he's going to take a rail to the face no what a ball <laughs> well if there was ever a time to do it it was definitely him. It. and i was questioning about uh scale bearer just in general and i felt like the only parts of the map would have been the armor side but it looks like he did exactly that and it looks like he is still going to be stacked going to go against uh, uh proximo's visor Indeed he is. Proximo is playing safe. I think he's low LG, or was. Just below his opponent here. He doesn't want to go through that teleport with scale bearer above. Oh, what? I think something might be happening, but... Oh, no, never mind. I think what happened was he was actually scoped in with Rel, but he was just walking back, but it might have looked like... Uh... Uh, he did a little mouse shake as well, like... Oh, maybe he was actually... Oh, maybe he did lag a little bit, but... Anyways, <laughs> carrying on from the uh, game anyway. Yeah. It looks like he just matched well, but he takes the risk. Takes one last rail shot and... Wow, does a reverse Sweet. sweep with Scale yeah. Bearer. Impressive stuff. One champion left. Nyx had the opportunity to finish that, uh, that round very easily with that great use of Invis, but it's just the flaky rocket. And then, you know, when the mid-air came round out, two, he didn't five. switch the rail. And I think that was it. I mean, he already did a lot of damage to the scale bearer at that time when they were both were, uh, both falling down, but the rockets came out better in the end for Carwick, and now he's being able to ca carry that momentum forward. And Proximo should be around up here, but he's not, and that's going to be slightly infuriating. Well, it looks like Fur Ranger is not bad stacks at the moment. He picked up the first armor and then the Mega instead and changed up a little bit at the start just so that he can face a good fight with two decent armor. Oh. And it looks like right now he's missing a few rounds and lets him get away, which is a little bit uncharacteristic. But considering Carrick played so well last time, but, you know, maybe he should have <laughs> had his scale bearer first instead. Armor's coming up in a second. And there's some good positioning from the Ranger. Nick's going invis straight away. He needs to get out of there, but went lower shotgun. Heading towards LG now, and Mega's not up for another 15 seconds. So I'm just going to play it slow. At all, though. Like getting away with that ghost walk. Literally, I think it was one of those instances where he had to get away at any cost, and it potentially like will get rocked here considering Ranger's uh, health and armor at the time anyway. But as we can see, he's going to orb and do a fake teleport, which he uh, is. His opponent does actually manage to get away from, which is not too bad. Trying to get the armor. Armor has been picked up, though. And it looks like he is trying to rail him, but also I don't think he's going to try and charge it. No, it looks like he's going to pull back and wait for another day. Invis been used. Has to be careful here on the teleport. We might get the good read. Okay. No, why would you teleport to that? 
I don't know if he was hoping to do that just to make him think it was going to be a fake when he actually did it, or I mean, yeah. maybe it was just a complete accident. But yeah, that was quite uncharacteristic. Unless you're timing to the exact second, that was such a risky move. It and was. Look at Proximo now. He is exploiting it, and he will take this round. I'm sure of it. I'm, I'm going to bet on something. He will do it. <laughs> And this is why we actually feel Proxo would be the favourite to win this. Not just obviously his previous results, but it looks like from his gameplay as well. And as you can see, it looks like he's going straight forward, just trying to get the charge into the Mega Health. But obviously the health is up, and I think he just managed to get that. Yes, he does. So it looks like now he's pulling back, and he's just trying to cause a stalemate situation, make sure he's got height advantage. And it looks like now he knows exactly where he is, but with Armin potentially uh, going back for the health, it's going to be a different story. Carl is just using... Uh Trying to pick up some health, good read. There from Proximo in the right location. Doesn't quite land the damage. Good use of the invis just at the last moment. I think he would have avoided that, that charge anyway, but just to make sure. And I think he can finish this off if he plays his cards right. And it looks like he's got, landed a great rocket in two. 75 HP now left on the cart. He knows where he's going to run to, surely. I think he, he was reading into the lower ground there just nicely. And it seems like we're going to have uh, Carwick just still stuck in the Mega Room for another six seconds. But this time, he ain't going to get Mega. No, not this time at all. And the thing is, over Proxima as well, his Nyx is really good. His Ghost Walk, it's really complex in his movement with it. It's so, you know, it's nice to actually see someone actually be a bit more versatile with the Ghost Walk compared to actually just trying to run away from it with it. But it seems like now, it was a shame he could have actually got him in that instance, but it looks like he will be waiting for the arm. It, w it will come back now. I think he does know it's up. Yes, he does. And with the Mega coming back another 10 seconds, he will try and push across because he's in a decent stack to actually be able to do it. But you've got to remember, though, he's got scale bearers, so it may cause some issues. I think at the moment, the the, the power-up control is just too strong, really, for, for Proximo to lose. He's got so much time between them. You can just find the poke shot in between those timings. And, you know, he's got time to play with. He's got a minute where he doesn't have to do anything. His opponent needs to come to him, and that's exactly what's happening. Why did you not oh, rail? Oh, that was a great time to ghost walk. I think he literally had no chance, even if he tried to jump out of the way. Yeah. And he knew the only thing he could do was ghost walk. But we've got Memo, though. Kowik, Kowik has to push him because of the fact that, you know, there's two champions remaining, which he can still use. And it's going to cause him to a sudden death. But, you know, with Proximo, he can just run away and play for time. Yep. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He's got 10 seconds. He wants to get his invis up. He's missing the time shards there. Just kind of trying to avoid any incoming damage. He drops down low, still not picking up any shards, but he's killed off the timer. He's got his invis back up in the nick of time, and he's going to hold on to this until the very last seconds. This is the great thing about playing as a skill player with not much time left, and you have a team more champion. It's the fact that you can let about all the power-ups you want, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter when you're in this kind of situation. Yeah, he's given up. He doesn't want to chase anymore. Carwick is just gone. Nope. He's played Still enough for uh, Tom and Jerry, I think, for one round, hasn't he, that time? But, you know, we'll just have to see what happens. But it's just a shame that, you know, he did manage to turn it around, the scale bearer. But the problem is, you know, what can you do when there's only right. so limited time? I mean, he didn't really turn anything around. He just he just wasted his own time, really. That's definitely true as well. I think it was quite hard considering um, Proximo was taking up all the power-ups as well. He wasn't really making like a play for him at all or trying to actually contest them. So I think you're right, he's wasting too much time. Bro, right he, now, every, every time he got into a skirmish, he was hurt so bad that he couldn't he couldn't commit a health stack to, to push one of these armors off. He wasn't yeah. getting any damage in between the rotations between these items. So, you know, it was, it was Proximo's round no matter what, but... You know, the start of this round, it's all changed up. Carwick now has the first frag onto Nyx. Super important, as Proximo looks incredibly comfortable on it. And now it's taking rail after rail on the Ranger too. Carwick, one shot away from Deffy. Great lovely play. Yeah, Great lovely play. rocket jump. There is no doubt about that, because his opponent oh, could no. have easily tanked, and, and, sorry, tanked another rail, and he couldn't. But sadly, he didn't get away in the full sight. But end of the day, that was a great play. I wouldn't have actually expected that at all. I mean, Proximo, lucky to get that frag. Uh, for a minute there, it was kind of like he was gonna, he was gonna get the frag guaranteed straight away at the bottom, but he misses his first opening shot, gives an opportunity to Carwick, and then suddenly he manages to pick up the frag like he should have done. But I was quite interesting off that spawn that we didn't see a more aggressive Carwick on his nicks. Could have easily picked up a frag, but I guess he just wanted to play it safe and pick up the armors and. 
you know, respect his opponent. Yeah, it's sometimes, you know, when you disrespect your opponent in some ways, it's not really the kind of thing you want to do because, don't get me wrong, it gives you a lot of false hope at the fact that, you know, you can play with no fear and, like, try and actually destroy him. But, you know, that could be a bad thing as well, depending on the situation who you're playing against. But I don't think Proxima has played Coet before, or maybe not know much about him. So, you know, respecting him is definitely the right move. But right now, at the moment, it looks like he's going to behind him, I think. And literally, he will try and chase him down. He drops down, and it looks like Coet does have the height advantage, but he drops down after him. Goes up Yikes. this and tries to finish him off, but Hoare oh, literally just managed to get away from the skin of his teeth. Easy rail miss there from Carwick. He's going to be kicking himself on that jump pad. It was pretty much game over for Proximo. Oh no, he's, he's going to survive this and he's going to be able to get Mega at least. So, uh, a bit lucky here. Lands himself a rail. Can he find? He won't reload in time. But he's going to try and deny this armor. It's not going to happen, but he might get a pick here of damage. Risks. Drops down towards the low armor, but no. Prox, uh, sorry. Uh, Carwick actually fakes it out. Goes up high. Takes a rail. And I think he popped his invis to the side there. Yeah, and it looks like now with uh, Proximo, he's just waiting for the next Mega coming up in the next second. And I think he knows that his opponent will be going for the armor. Yeah. So hopefully he may even potentially go and uh, try and rail him. But it looks like he will be waiting back. Carwick doesn't have the stack to go for the armor. He feels a little bit stuck back and the timing was off. So obviously Proximo could, you know, take the, uh, take the Mega, take the armor, feel really comfortable. And now he's just looking for an opportunity to drop down. He finds... And stellar time, but the invis is up and he's just going to drop down. Nice rail from Carwick. Oh, that was really patient. Rail. Really good, good tracking on his opponent, knowing exactly where he's waiting, killing time. It's funny Proximo. in this kind of situation though, because I know a lot of players will hold to rockets, so they've got the choice of actually going for the mega or armor straight off the bat. And a little bit landed, but I think it's okay now. But you know, this is the scale bearer situation now. We spoke about this before. He did a reverse sweep with scale bearer last time, and last round sadly just managed to push out. But it looks like um, his ping doesn't seem to be too great at the moment for for Cowick, but it it's could potentially go to our first sudden death of the day. Yeah. I don't know what what server they're actually playing on or where it's located, but yeah, it could be issues for for Carwick here in terms of his lag issues, or it could just be his connection. You know, it, oh, you're don't making excuses for him already. <laughs> I mean, we're having a look at the pings here. 42. I didn't quite catch the other one, but. Uh, no, 62, so it's quite a difference. Unless this connection just spiking at random moments, but you know, these things happen. But by the look of things, it's not seem to be phasing him at all whatsoever. Because me personally, when I get in a bit of uh, connection issues, literally it will phase my mentality a little bit. But you oh, know, course, he yeah. knows in this kind of match, he literally can't, he doesn't have time to even cry about it. So he can cry about it afterwards once he qualifies for the top 60. <laughs> but it looks like he will try and push for the fight, and he was quite stacked, but it looks like now. Proximo was so weak, literally barely 10 HP. But now we've got Carrick with the armor, but it looks like he lost that straight away. So it looks like we'll be playing the hunting game again. Fires are popping up his ult. Lands are great. Oh, I thought it was going to be a bit more damage than that, but lands a bit of splash, knocks Scale Bearer Seven onto the Mega. Five minutes warning. And now, a clap now, because finally the first sudden death of the day of so many matches. I'm quite yeah. surprised, to be fair. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more. Wow, lovely charge, absolutely stellar from Carwick there, perfectly timed, waiting for the opportunity, and 150 damage. It's and funny because for previous weeks, I've seen so many sudden deaths, and then the first sudden death we see of the day, it lasts 10 seconds. Yeah, <laughs> Carwick does, doesn't want it to drag on, and rightfully so. And now he is a uh, map point here on the. Uh, well, we've been Covenant. Polish and from uh, Kazakhstan. I think Kazakhstan's about three hours in front, and Poland have been uh, about approximately two. So it's very late where they are at the moment. So you know, I don't blame him wanting to try and uh, you know finish things up. But then again, they could be quite fatigued from all these matches. Yep. But looking at right now, it seems like Kazakhstan's in a good position at the moment. Knows exactly where his opponent is. It may potentially wait for him to go up the lift, but. Looks like Proximo knows exactly not to do that and ah. just to let his opponent actually uh, make the first move. Yeah, I'm surprised that he be, he didn't try and go for the rail. He had he was he had enough health and armor for a, a cheeky stab at it, but decides not to Carwick. And Proximo, I think was that a rocket jump up to the up to the railgun. He's got to have to be careful here. Oh, Carwick! Actually, I think he's clocked on that his opponent's near him. Here's the rocket launcher lift. Or jump pad, sorry, and then 
Invis attack. It's going to be good. Anything to follow up. Nice die roll coming up behind Proximo. Good recovery. And if it was any of the time to get away, it was definitely them. But yeah, great all play by uh, by Kovic just then. He knew exactly what was going to happen. So at least he turned back, tried to finish Nyx off. But uh, it was good Proximo uh, with the ghost walk by Nyx. But right now, he's still trying to look for the opponent. Not really a good advantage in terms of height, but he probably will go for the telly, which he will do. Ow. And it could be a rail off. But, you know, they're playing very scarce now. They're, they... They know that this could potentially be the last round for Carrick. So Carrick's been, you know, very sly, being a little bit more defensive, which I don't blame him just in general because of the fact that of the situation he's in. But he's trying to stop him from getting the armor, but it looks like he's going to ghost walk away. Oh, well played no. by him. He had an opportunity for a frag there, or uh, at least some extra damage there. But uh, I think uh, Proxima actually did manage to get the armor, which he did, which is good. Got the ghost walk off just in time, able to escape. Didn't take any unnecessary damage. But now he does 90 damage range rail with the zoom oh, rail. And he, I think he did assume he was on a little bit less health than he thought. But to be fair, he's only on about 30 HP, but he's got an all back. So already he still knows he's quite weak, but he's still trying to find a way to actually yeah. push him. But I think right Don't now care. he's going to go straight for the armor. But I don't think he's too fussy if he dies here because at least he knows he's actually burnt the armor. Good rail coming in from Carwick. Just as his opponent was trying to run away to the shotgun. Has to be careful here, Proximo. His range of didn't get a great spawn, almost ran into uh, Kawak, and he actually was so patient, played it right, just walked around by the LG, wait for his opponent to pass around, let him get the Mega. He couldn't, he has nothing to contest with at the moment, and he's still pretty badly hurt. He's just waiting down low. Again, finds a good situation out of that really bad one. Oh, good instant pop rail. Didn't expect it. But it looks like Carwick was in a really good situation, but yeah, because of that pop rocket Ooh. just then, is it? Oh, if he takes one more well, he can die here. But it looks like he will just manage to recover. But he knows Mega's coming up, so he's going straight for it. And it looks like right now he's trying to find a way to actually get back on top and try and find a way to actually get round his opponent. Oh, he's done a fantastic job there, Proximo. Two really nice rails, putting him back in, and another one there. Great stuff. And now. Possibly an opportunity for a frag, and he's going in. Good dire roll. No, it wasn't good. In fact, oh, but the rocket no. positioning was better from Carwick as he went through the teleporter. Evening out the stacks. 50-50, 25, and now the armor is coming up in 10 seconds. Way too early for Carwick. He has to be careful here. If he's mispositioned at all. Was that a crazy dire roll? I think it might have been, but I wasn't too sure because earlier I just couldn't contemplate how like you didn't win that fight with the box when he went for the teleport but you know these things happen and it looks like now we're back to rail fight but he knows exactly to back off on that rocket and right now he's just staying underground staying low trying to find an opportunity just tried to orb up but oh no, oh no he tried to orb him but he tried to rocket jump up and he just manages to get away and he knows that he's up top and mega's up as well so now that he's got that he's, i'm not sure if he's got enough Carwick. health and armor to actually go for the armor proximo proximo had a chance for an easy frag there Surprises his opponent down by the low armor, right? So what happens is that Carwick panicked, used his dire orb, teleported to it too soon, fell back down into the same position that he was already in. But Proximo thought he got up and followed him with a rocket jump. <laughs> yeah, I think they were both a little bit confused with like what the situation was going on. But yeah, Carwick. Yeah, I don't think he wasn't too sure either, as you just explained. But you know, he can't take another well. He needs to get away at least get an orb, but. Oh, but I feel like Sudden the lag death. may have actually held him back from getting yeah, that last orb. That was he unfortunate. Could take a shot. But yeah, sadly, but he's got 25 HP now. If he can manage to find him, he could possibly pick him off. But I don't think he's going to have the time now. Now he's back stacked up. Interesting. Picks out the scale bearer for the sudden death. He's the right moment to uh, attack. He does have the mega health. Don't think he has a railgun yet. He's just waiting low armor at the moment. He knows it's soon. He knows Mega's up at the same time as the armor. It, but, oh, we've got a good read. Big damage. And it looks Coming like from the he's trying to get that armor off it. Because, oh no, he has picked up. Mega's still up at the moment. And it yep. seems like he will go for it next. And that is what exactly what he will do. He's just have a look around, make sure his opponent isn't trying to pressure him. Since he has got the armor after all. And obviously, considering his scale, but he could easily charge for it. But, you know, he's been aware. He's been careful. He's just making sure... 
you know, it's not making any of the littlest errors, just trying to find out exactly where his opponent is. Sadly, he's looking the wrong way, but at the moment, armor's coming next three seconds anyway, so yep. he's doing a good play, just making sure he keeps taps on the power-ups. Yeah, but now he's got time. He knows that the Megas are spaced out a little bit here. He could, he could push into this if he really wanted to. I think he's giving his uh, opponent a little bit too much respect, but he's going to get the Mega. If he takes... Oh, my... He should be not missing these rails. At least put a rocket there and then switch to the rail. Oh, no. Now he has to back off, and now he's completely lost control. Armor's up in seven seconds. He can't afford to, to fight this. If he does, he is a very brave man. He's going to go for it. He's going to... I thought he was going to die roll for it. <laughs> oh, his rail is so flaky right now. The nerves Proximo is going through. I think the problem is, is the Favot with the scale bear as well. I think it's right, but if he did orb, it will get like, you know, it might have came into contact with the actual uh, bulldoze. But it seems like the fact that, like, you know, he might have made the right decision, maybe not orbing going for it. Maybe he did it much, much earlier on. He could have actually got away with it and potentially got a kill. But, you know, they're both still only a champion down. Both still making a little errors, just trying to make sure they can get any sort of thing, but it Don't looks like the 10 the HP, 50 HP, still in contact with Rail, he still can't take a Rail shot, but he needs to pick up a little bit more, but he needs to be careful with oh, the situation he's, he's got to get out of this situation. Oh, beautiful oh. rocket jump. That was fantastic. There was no way he could have gone for that armor, because oh either Why way, he if he'd gone for it, he still wouldn't have been able to tank a Rail. He should have gone Mega, he had the opportunity. There's no way that Scale Bearer could catch up, and now he's going to get fully stacked. And now the poke game has to come out strong, even stronger for Proximo. He needs another sort of lag miracle. I mean, <laughs> I think he definitely does. I think a little of that, a little bit of that, you know, spin, <laughs> spin, spin spike of 999 might help him a little bit. And funny enough, that's what actually cost him that one champion, which is a yeah. shame as well. So. You know, I don't know who your provider is in Kazakhstan, but, you know, I'll definitely have a word if they cost you this match up. I think it's the, the Polish player. Uh, Proximo is uh, the Kazakhstan player, so he's not having the issues with the lag. But Carwick is, maybe it's just the, the server location. Yeah, it could actually be server location, don't get me wrong, but, you know, with spikes like that, it, it was, I'd assume it's definitely his own connection because I've never seen quite anything like that because we would see uh, Proxmo yeah, being in the same well. situation. Yeah, yeah which is uh, quite understandable. But at the moment now, still a minute 30 left. Both players do know that they can take their time. There's no rush. They've still got two champions left, knowing that it could go to another sudden death. But at the moment, they're just trying to feel each other out, trying to know exactly where each other are, which they do. But nice rocket by uh, by Pukla just then. But it looks like uh, Carrick will be backing off and looks like it's just going to be another stalemate again. Yeah, nobody really wanted to commit. The stakes are too high right now, especially for Proximo. But he's got uh, an angle here for Rails. You're not going to see the chase through the teleporter. Carwick just going to go around the safe way. Go lower, pick up some armor. He's going to try and fight this. The charge could actually be potentially bad for him. Oh, I think it was assuming that like, he was probably going to try and rail him and hopefully miss. But oh, no, with a target is... like Scale Bearer, there's no way you're going to miss from that. And he looks like he makes the right move. Proximo now heads back. Rocket Mega's jump coming happened. up in one he second. He needs to be careful. He's... No, he's not going to go for the Mega. He can't afford to. Yeah, that's the right play. So obviously, if he went up, he would have just got railed instantly. So no, you were definitely that. right about that. Oh, no. What are you doing? Don't get mad, don't get tilted, Proximo. I thought you was getting tilted then with his I was getting mad because he was <laughs> making some simple mistakes. I think you would do, especially in this position. Like Both these players really want to make an impact in the Quake World Championships. And considering the situation they're in at the moment, they know this is the final match. They know this is the match where they want to go through. And considering both players are a little bit unknown to the scene, they want to make this you know, impression at the moment. This but looks like they both drop down, both fuck each other, but still both on a very similar stack. And it looks like... Um, oh, the mistake has been made. Carwick shouldn't have ju sort of jumped across the Mega. He should have just backed off to sort of claim the armor. And now that's going to cost him. Mega's now going, unless, unless he has his charge up. I don't think he does. And for the first time in a while, Proximo... Oh, no, he missed the armor. get the armor, but I think oh, no. he missed it again. <laughs> <laughs> Nerves trying to walk over it failed miserably, and now Mega oh. is now in favor of Carwick. This, I, if he loses this because of that one moment, he will be kicking himself. But to be fair, his opponent did like oh, no, so he poke, deserved poke. it. To be fair, <laughs> but it's come to a situation now where you know Carwick's seen him miss the armor twice, and he's no well, he, he damn well knows that he's missed it twice, and he knows that nerves are against him. So Carwick's probably thinking, right now, this is my chance to take a uh. 
you know, to contest all the other pounces. Oh, get running, get running. Oh, but it looks like he just manages to get away again. I'm not sure oh, if no. these two are, you know, trying to press each other too much but not capitalising or just trying to hold back too much and not I mean, capitalise on the uh, situation. Right now, Proximo is... Well, he's not going to be wetting himself now after that rail, but the, the, <laughs> those last chase... Oh, now he should be. He landed that rail oh. as he fell. What? This insane. Final kill is becoming... Really, really close right now. Six minutes of overtime and Numi numerous encounters it. now, and it's like it's like they want us to stay until 2 a.m. I think. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I'm fine Fun. with that as well. So you two just play ahead. So that was already too much. But All it looks right. like right now, Carrick is still on high health at the moment and is still slightly sacked. But he realizes that he will be going for the armor and he will be backing off. So I don't blame him right now if he does possibly let him get the next mega. But I think he's not too sure where he's at the moment. He does realise now he actually is underneath and he will go for the Mega. So at least he managed to get something away from him. But he actually makes him rocket jump upwards and seems like he will just barely get away. And a nice direct hit. And Proxima may just barely get away. Well, both of them really. Panic stations. Yeah, panic stations really is here. definitely an any, understatement any here right poke. now. And this is game potentially for Carwick. And Mega's not up for another eight seconds. I don't think Proximo should be anywhere near this next Mega, if he knows what's best for him. But he's going to try and go for the poke. No, he manages... Okay, he manages to get it. So the Scale Bearer went around a long route. Maybe he failed a rocket jump. Yeah, that was a the big mistake by Kallik, I think. Would you reckon? He said he was there quite stoked. There were 10 seconds difference between the, uh, the, the pickups, but came out on top. I mean, good rockets here, switching it up. The rail's just leaving them behind now, but there's another one. He wants to finish this off. Oh, come on, shoot. Why are you not shooting? What's going on? Oh, he's out of rails. Out of rails when zoomed in. If it was ever it wasn't time shooting, and I bet he was panicking and just firing and firing and firing and just couldn't get anything off. Oh, the worst bit was he looked like he was AFK crouching because he faked the all perfectly. Yeah, he did. And you could see that he could easily get one or two rail shots and that would have been the end. But it looks like this overtime is going to carry on for the next couple of minutes until the situation reoccurs. <laughs> Proximo is hanging on with dear life. Good rail from Carwick. Goes through the teleporter, does the double fake. Proximo drops down low. Don't do it. Don't. Oh, luckily he's looking the wrong way. The charge, though. Oh, nice fantastic rocket jump, rocket jump by uh, Proximo just then. And it seems like now Proximo is trying to stop him from getting the next armor. He can survive it well. He's perfectly fine. And Kawik uh, is, well, obviously knows he can as well. He can, can take he's another coming in two. behind. I heard a rocket jump. Oh, no. He, he went over by the railgun. Oh, this is unbelievable. I think this one map has taken longer than one of the first matches in the first round. It's unbelievable at the moment. I think the first, one of the first matches was 34 seconds, wasn't yeah, it? This would be ridiculous. the 14th minute we're in now. Why? Oh, okay, that was a risky move. Oh, nice. I'm liking that teleporter confusion. Yep, that confused me. <laughs> so he went in in through the teleporter, dropped his tire orb, went back through the teleporter, then dire orb. That did, did a 180. That was a really clever move. I like that a lot. Do you reckon these two are just purposely uh, causing it to a massive sudden death situation? No, uh, I, don't, I don't think purposely any of them are. They want to win. And they're making sure that they can uh, do so. But this could possibly be it. Oh, unfortunately, Scalebo You know fell you get down. some of those team games, etc., where like there's a stalemate and no one wants to like give each other that opportunity. And it only seems to happen to be this that one it. time. Surely this, this is, is the fight. Time. The LG is going to oh, finish it. He's, he's on 5 HP. HP. Come on. This is it. Bam. Done. Nine minutes Proximo. and 50 seconds of sudden death just to... Keep away, VST. But the funny thing is, it's still the first map. We've still got a fifth Great one round. to go. <laughs> fifth round, sorry. Apologies. And, yeah, it's going to be... That was like a final. That what that did feel like a final, to be fair. But to be fair, it's I've, great to I've, see how I've much they I've lost all track of if we're on the first map, second, or third map right now. Because <laughs> that went on so long. I'm feeling exactly the same right now. I actually started to think it took so long. I thought that was the final round of the first map in assuming, but... It's going to crack on, but anyway, fifth round, best of five, as you well as you all know anyway, to take this first map in the series. Still level pegging at the moment, and we're still just waiting to see exactly what's going to happen. But it's great to see how much these two want it. They want this more than anything, especially Proximo, considering the situation he was in last week, who desperately wanted it. But right now, it's just trying to do, get a few rail shots here and there, but managed to back, back off. And looks like he's going to get the armor, which is going to come up in the next second. Same with the Mega. Yeah, both. 
coming up at the same time, both even stacks. They're going to try and do the poke game, see who can then find, who can control both items. But uh, it's never that quite that easy. Both good players positioning themselves well for each item. For each item that they lose, they take the other. But some uh, interesting uh, maneuvers coming in from Boximo. Has a good track on. It's got the opening bit of damage. Do you know what? These two would be horrendous on like Sana or something. Because the <laughs> Sun Death will probably end up being like 12, 13 minutes instead. But it's definitely one of the longest local times I've seen uh, so far. But at the moment, he is trying to potentially stop it. Oh, actually, the arm's not for another 20 seconds. And he's having a look around, just having a little poke around, a few rockets here and there, just to try and feed out for his opponent to see if he can find out where he is. But in the time being, the Mega and Armour is coming up for the next 5 to 10 seconds. And it looks like Proxima will be waiting for the next Mega. Good clip there on the rail. Can he find another one shot away from death here for the next? Gonna drop down low, pick up the, the small armors. Has to be careful when he goes through this teleporter though. Carwick not quick enough to react to it. Now it's gonna be a situation now where they will be railing off, but the problem is the Mega's coming in the next five seconds, but I'll be interested if he goes through it first, but I think Proxima knows just to wait, stand his ground and see if he also goes for the Mega as well. So we're going to see now if Carrick actually does make any pressure at all towards the armor. But I think Proxima is quite surprised. Oh, but he does come round eventually and tries to orb for it. But he's out. good job by Proxima to actually ghost walk out of there. And also great patience and discipline considering if he did go for the armor, he probably would have lost the Knicks. Yeah, he doesn't want to risk it, but he's, his opponent's clocked onto his movement. He tried to double back a little bit too soon, and this could be potentially dangerous now. And, you know, Carwick has full control, providing that he positions himself in the right area of the map so he can fall back onto the Mega. Not going to use that Dire Orb. Has wasted it. 14 seconds until the Invis is back up. Again, Proximo can't risk going for this Mega, but he's going to try and land some damage as it's picked up. And this could be bad. I mean, he almost just killed himself with that rocket. After today, I do not want to see this map again. Oh, <laughs> just in the nick of time, the armor's up. Who's going to have win the LG battle? No one, because he's going to run. No, it's going to be. He could catch him off guard, yes. and he does. Pox him over. Nice rocket kill. And now the pressure's on Kawik with only a minute and 38 remaining. Nick's great, great opportunity with that uh, invis there. You know, he had a good LG battle, came out on top, used the invis, and made sure that he would claim the win. But he's got a scale barrel now, so he's got, still got a little bit of time to grab the power-ups necessary to make the chase. But it seems like now he has the Mega, but the armor is already up and still up. But it looks like Proxima will attempt to get it, but he's stuck in a really awkward situation where if he gets railed, he could easily get done for. But luckily, he didn't use his Ghost Walk and just took the risk to actually get out of it. So yeah, fair play. to be careful up top here. Good rockets, though. Superb rockets from Proximo. Great knock-up. Great follow-up. And now Mega's his for the taking for free. Nyx is going to try and take it. Oh, dangerous, dangerous manoeuvre. But that say, has claimed him the armour. I was going to say, sorry, uh, Proximo knows that Carrick is getting desperate now and there was only two champions behind, which is probably why he, why he made such a foolish play. But it looks like now there's only one champion down, so it can easily come back with 30 seconds left. Indeed he can, 30 seconds. I don't think... Uh, I don't think uh, Proximo is going to let that happen. He's going to try and slow down the game as much as possible. But Carwick is on the hunt with the Knicks. And, you know, if there's a good positional fight that uh, Visor can take. 12 seconds left. Oh. Ghost Walk just to hopefully try and find him. But yeah, he's, he's looking on a completely the wrong side. Yeah. It's only six seconds left. He's in the LG corridor. He's just staying there. I think he's going to clock on any second now as well. This is it. Oh, he's just headed over that way. What a way to win that final round. 3-2, sudden death. I think that map alone took about half an hour, I think. What year is it again? Uh, I don't know, but I think it's, it's 2030 or something like that. It's just, <laughs> His scale bear is not really doing too well for him at the moment. For the first it was two, so rushed. He, I think Mega was coming up. He he won the Mega over with the, with the actual charge. I think he could have just waited. You know, there was no way that Proximo was going to take any risks there. And so that's why he fell back as soon as he heard the charge. It was so unfortunate uh, to just throw it away like that and drop down and try and get the frag. 
it was it was a it was a waste. They put so much effort into this into this game, Carwick, and then maybe the frustrations of the lag problems and you know just having these awful coin flip moments. I think it did come to one of those situations where a lot of them were coin flip. And it's a shame really because when you do see a lot of coin flip moments, you do wish that they had like more of like a best of five, best of seven situation where things could have planned out a little bit differently. Like I reckon that, that Carrick might not have chosen uh, scale pair maybe not as often on certain maps because that kind of like affects them quite a bit in some of the matchups. Not just matchups in champions, but also on the map themselves. But uh, hats off to Proximo, man. You know, he was 2 1 down on the first map, manages to pull it back up. And looks incredibly <laughs> strong on Ruins. I mean, it's just that last second save, man. Like, I can't believe it. It was it was Karwick's round. He was waiting patiently, and then it just all came to a horrifying end. And the rail, as he was falling, so clutch. But and I think this was it. This is pushes with the LG. He just needs to get out of this, <laughs> and bam! And it's a sad day, really, because, like, you know, Proximo... We can't put it past him. His Nyx was really good. He got away so closely. 18 HP, 3 HP. You know, he got bulldozed into him after all that as well. And managed to ghost walk at the split moment every time. Yep. But that was our final series of the, of the night, sadly. So, you know, I think that's probably why we were hoping for our uh, I think every other situation. Match had, every other match had probably finished because of how long that <laughs> one went on. That's probably the case there. Yeah, like, Carrick, Proximo, you're to blame. So, you know, just letting you know It was that. still a great series. I mean... It's a shame, like again, for for Carwick with the lag issues, and sort of, he gave us such a wonderful game in that he wasn't able to take down another map, and we could have an extra map because oh, it would have been it would have been epic. I would have loved to be here for 2 a.m. because these guys would have taken it all the way if that was the case. This is it. Well, I think me and you are the sort of guys where we're more than happy to stay till 2 a.m. But finally, that is the end of the stream. I'm afraid the end of the night for the qualifiers. So we've got the top 16, which have made it through today. And then you'll see them again on Sunday for the top eight to determine which are going to qualify for the regionals. So until then, we'll see you soon.